dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have a curse uh, that I found. I found out a new curse to talk to you about. And uh, just, I've been w putting it off because it's, it's phrased very coarsely. And I have found that sometimes these, these, these uh, ongoing, like mass distributed course, uh, curses are, are coarsely phrased. And I guess that's because um, because the energy involved is very coarse and so it's natural that they would be phrased in that way. But I, on the other hand, I don't care for coarse energy and that's why I've been putting this off. So, so I woke up refreshed in the early morning and when I woke up I was very alert and I noticed first off as I sat up, I noticed a pressure, a kind of a medium heavy pressure at the, on the crown of my head and uh, a light uh, like touch, uh, a very quick touch at the very base of my torso uh, in the, I guess you would call the energetic realm. And um, at the same time, I heard, uh, I heard this curse and I'm going to like say it in such a way that the vulgarity is sort of removed and it went like this. Uh, Mike will weigh you down. He's very sad of OJ. And then it said, um, hey ho, way ho, F you in the A ho. Of course, he didn't say it like that. It said the whole thing, the entire words. So then the pressure went away, and and the and both pressures went away just like that. And so I recognized it as a curse, as a recurring curse. And um, I would like to say that the very most amazing thing about this curse was the quality of the clear voice that I heard. It was very low, very, very hard to hear, very deep. And it's, it felt like the voice was, you know, under pressure, like deep, deep under the ocean in one of those, what's it called, a special chamber, deep under the ocean made to reserve, resist all that pressure. It felt deeply, deeply pressurized and uh, secluded off from the rest of my energy field and uh, also it had a quality that I can only describe as like static on the radio uh, like parts of the curse were missing or had been erased um, like the voice was breaking up into little bits uh, but still intelligible um, in fact, it seemed like the curse was disintegrating, but had not quite disintegrated yet. And uh, and from this, I'm getting that, that it could be that the incoming light is disintegrating or melting the curses, you know. Um, so, aside from that, I. I can't draw many conclusions from this. I could say the vocabulary is very different from my own. The uh, probable intended recipients might be military or construction workers, blue collar workers, stevedores, lumberjacks, people like that. And maybe the curse got to me by mistake, you know. Um, it seems like a man to man kind of curse. Uh, and it's probably, you know, they're probably going the rounds and uh, through humanity for long ages now. I don't really know what else to say about it except that I'm having some success with this curse search stuff and it looks like if I'm not able to resolve all this that the light will take care of it. See y'all later. Take care. Love you lots. Oh yes, I forgot to mention who this Mike is that I hear of sometimes. Um, I don't think it's whoever it is that's talking. Um, 
because I hear it so frequently. And I think maybe, maybe that's um, a diminutive means an Archangel Michael Fractal that's helping to create this reality, this 3D, 4D duality, and so it got abbreviated down to the word Mike. Um, and that's my guess about this, is that the first part of it, the part about Mike will weigh you down, it's kind of like that other curse that said, bow down to me, you know, that I talked about in another, um, in another video. Uh, that kind of sound to it or um, characteristic uh, fr a frequency. Uh, uh, I don't know, satanic, would you say? Uh, bow down to me, Mike will weigh you down. Gosh, not layer very light and bright and loving, huh? <laughs> 